This is where the magic happens. I'm keeping my secret ingredient back here so I can show you that in just a minute. And this is the yummy yumminess. I mean, seriously, that was so fast. My people tell me where to go I'm not afraid to step outside I see the world for what it is no. Yes, I have certainly bought my fair share of pre-packaged, pre-made coleslaw and frankly, I like it and I buy it all the time but the other night, I was in the mood for something really fresh and homemade and chunky uh, so I decided to make my own and I grabbed whatever I had on hand in the kitchen um, and this is what I got. So this is my homemade coleslaw. And I gotta be honest with you, it's actually really good. Now I am making this, as you can see, in my RV. Uh, but the first time I made it, I actually made it at home and it was so easy. It was a natural for me to actually wanna make it in my RV when we are out on the road. So whether you're at home, in your RV, this is a quick and simple homemade coleslaw that everyone in the family is going to love. And by the way, I am in the middle of rolling out my RV cooking series. So if you are interested in more of those recipes, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that way you will be notified when I come out with a new video every Wednesday. Welcome back to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen. And right now we're focusing on the RV kitchen. This is super quick and simple. And I also do have a free PDF download I'm gonna tell you about in just a minute. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Let's start with the coleslaw, okay? You start with cabbage. Now, the thing about coleslaws, most are very shredded and thin, and that's great, and I do love that, but I was really in the mood for something super chunky. So what I did is I cut my coleslaw into uh, big, maybe one inch pieces. First of all, it's very, very fast to do it that way. And also it just gives it a little bit of a different texture and certainly has that homemade look and feel to it. So that's why I did that. I also have some green onions in here. The dark green and light green parts are included in this. By the way, as I've got my hands out, I noticed my shirt. Do you guys remember when I made those ribs? I'll put the video up here where I splashed them everywhere and I actually really did ruin that shirt. Well, guess what? The people at Free Fly, they saw that, <laughs> they felt sorry for me and they actually sent me a brand new shirt. So thank you to Free Fly. Uh, and I'm guessing the reason they did is because they actually looked up stuff that I've ordered in the past and I have spent a fair penny there, but that's because their clothes are fabulous, they're comfortable, they're soft, and no, this is not a sponsored post, but I'm so excited about Free Fly because they have a ton of SPF clothing. And for those of you who know, you know I had a horrible malignant invasive melanoma on my face. It took a third of my nose. My fabulous plastic surgeon, after a whole bunch of surgeries, put it back together. So actually the SPF factor of the clothes is very important to me. So thank you again, Free Fly, for sending me a replacement. I appreciate it. Okay, now, now that you know how to cut up your cabbage and your green onions, let's get to mixing the dressing. This is where the magic happens. First of all, I just have a quarter cup of mayo and a quarter cup of sour cream in here. The full recipe link is below. So if you're interested in go check it out, it will take you right to my website and you can get a printable version of it there. So some sour cream, and some mayo, and this is the yummy yumminess in here, I have some horseradish, some grain mustard, and some dill relish. That's what gives it the pop. So we just pour that right in there. And for a little extra tang, it's a couple of teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And then that is quite a bit of tang. So I add a tablespoon of sugar and a little bit of salt. And of course, fresh ground pepper. I'm keeping my secret ingredient back here. So I can show you that in just a minute. Now, this is everything that's included in the dressing. Let me get my whisk. Yeah, you could certainly pre-make the dressing and put it back in the fridge uh, before you mix it, but you don't have to, you can mix it right away. Now, as you can see, this is obviously a cream-based coleslaw. Um, I do love vinegar-based coleslaws as well, but for this one, this matched perfectly with the cabbage and the green onions and my secret ingredient, which I'll get to right now. 
Okay, so I love green apples, and I happen to have a couple of extra the first time I made up this recipe. So I grabbed them because I just thought that would add a really nice, fresh uh, taste to it, and it did. So I diced it into about the same size as the cabbage. That way it all blends up really well. So dump those in. And I'm gonna give that a quick toss, and then just add the dressing. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna toss it together. Now, the wonderful thing, sorry, I lost a piece over the edge there. Um, the wonderful thing about this type of coleslaw is actually it is better like the next day or even the day after that. It gives all of those flavors a chance to kind of meld together. It is delicious. All right, just top it off with some fresh ground pepper. Yes, even in my RV, I always make sure to use Fresh. It just tastes so much better. Now let me grab a plate and I'm going to throw it on top. How many of you guys recognize these plates? I think uh, probably at least half, if not more, of all our viewers use these Corel dishes. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'll put a link below. I just started an Amazon page, shop, store, I'm not even sure what to call it, but it's where I've grouped together all of my favorite products that I actually use and like uh, that all of me can get on Amazon. So that link is below. Now let's serve this up. You know what would be beautiful in this? I was talking to my mom today and she loves radishes. And man, if you just sliced up some radishes and threw that in there, how beautiful would that be? I wish I had thought of that. All right guys, so that is it. This, I mean, seriously, that was so fast and it is so delicious. Mm. Mm hmm. That tang, let me finish chewing this first. The tang of the relish and that grainy mustard in there, oh, it's just so good. But, you know, you gotta have that sugar sweetness too. And that's in there too, especially these apples. I'll tell you what. I'm not sure how much of the store made stuff I'm gonna be buying anymore. This was cheap, it was easy, it was fast, and it is delicious. Perfect for your summer camping trip or a picnic or anything summer related. Thank you for tuning in to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. Happy cooking, happy eating, and for those of you going out camping, happy camping. I will see you next time. Not afraid to step outside, see the world for what it is.